hi I'm here to do my seven week update today I'm seven weeks and one day today um, and morning sickness has arrived uh, full blown arrived it is I, I was never sick with the girl so this is all new but I yeah, struggling to get up in the morning I it's all just super super new to me I feel just so so sick but I know it's a good sign I know that that means that I guess the baby is growing and he's I know it can't mean that it's healthy but the baby is there and the baby is growing um but this week by far has been the worst week for morning sickness um so I went to the doctor to get something because I just couldn't get out of bed in the morning to take the girls to school um it was I obviously did it to get into school but it was such a struggle every morning um, and then at night time as well it, it felt like it lasted well it did it lasted all day and then at night as well so I'd feel sick from the morning all day so some days I just have to sit there and just literally do nothing until I had to get the girls from school and then pick the girls up from school you know do the dinner that kind of stuff and then I would be in bed by 6.30 to 7 o'clock. Um, Dee would come home from work. Dee gets home from work at about 4. Um, he would just take over and I would be asleep on some of those days at 7, 7.30. The other night I was in bed at 6.30. Um, just so exhausted. So I went to the doctor and they gave me um, this... Well, no, first of all, I didn't want to go straight to the doctor to get medication, like prescription medication. So I just went up to um, the chemist warehouse. Um, we live in Australia. The chemist warehouse and got these Elevit morning sickness ones. So I wasn't sure if these would really work. I'd, I'd done a little bit of research and a lot of people said that they made them feel, um, feel even worse. I don't, I wouldn't say I would be an extreme case at all of having morning sickness. Like I know people that are far, far, far worse. Um, so this isn't for extreme cases, it's just for um, moderate cases of morning sickness. So I thought I'll just try it, see how I go. Um, and it says three, you have to take it for three to four days to see um, any difference. So I did that. So I think I got this on Friday, I think. What are we now? We went, we're Thursday. So I think I got this on Friday. I took took them Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Sunday was Father's Day. That was that was probably my worst day was Father's Day. And then Monday I woke up and I could actually get up at a decent time, get ready just feel a little bit more normal so I definitely definitely think that these have helped so I try and just take these um, before I take this one here so this apparently is I think the other name for it is Moxalon um, but I'm just a little bit I only take these on my super super bad days um, I just would if these work I prefer just to take these um, I just feel like they're a little bit safer they're not a prescription drug um, but I've got those um, in case I've got my friend coming next week for a week um, so I have got the prescription ones just in case I need to take those if I'm having a super bad day because I need to be I need to be able to get up I need to be able to take her places and show her places and we've got lots planned so I need to be able to do it um, yeah so those are for the morning sickness and then so I have my bloods and all of that done. Um, and then I'm just taking these as the prenatal, I think they're called, the prenatal vitamins with the folic acid, iodine, iron, all of that, just the elevate ones. And I was also low in B12. So I just got these, oh, these Swiss ones, um, just to boost my B12. Apparently I was low when I had my iron done. Taking those um, and yeah, so nauseous, nauseousness has been really bad, um, and I have been getting so hot and then so cold. So it's quite cold in Melbourne at the moment, and 
usually I have the heater on all the time because I'm just like a cold person so I have the heater on all the time but now I just can't I have to turn them off um, I'm fine with like a jumper on I am absolutely fine I do not need the heaters on but then I will go the complete opposite where if I'm really hot I'll go cold and then other way around it's like there's no in between it's just um, yeah complete opposites which is a bit crazy but that's okay um what else have I had oh food um so before I got pregnant I ate really well I kind of ate I, I'm a very simple eater so I ate the same things like for breakfast for lunch for dinner and then I'd alternate them every week so I would always be eating salads um salads veggies I don't eat meat so salad veggies tofu um that was like my staples in my diet it was and I just used to change them up different vegetables um marinate the tofu on different stuff now don't even bring it near me I can't even stand the smell of it it smells disgusting um so I've been living off oh and I didn't really eat bread because it made me super bloated and just not not nice so I never ate well, hardly ever ate bread. Now, all I want is bread and ginger nut biscuits. That's what it's been this week. It's basically carbs and sugar, and that's it. Which I think is contributing to the way that I feel. Because I also, obviously, feel so tired. And you probably notice I'm always kind of breathing in, like I'm always out of breath. Um, but really tired, but I think... Well, this is my conclusion. I think that it's from the way I used to eat before I was pregnant to the way I eat now is like the complete opposite. If I ate the stuff that I'm eating now before I was pregnant, I would be sick. I would feel horrible. It was my, my belly. I'd have such a bad belly ache. But now that's all I can stomach. That's all I want to eat. So I think that's contributing to making me feel really tired and sick. Obviously, it's the pregnancy as well, but I just don't think that that's helping um, at all in any way. So that's, yeah, not really ideal. Um, but what can you do? That's what I want to eat, so that's what I'm going to eat because that's what I can keep down. Um, that, I think, is all my symptoms. I think that's it. Haven't, I haven't really been too irritable because I know a lot of people say around here around like this time they get quite like snappy and um, that's annoying me um, and quite irritable. I don't seem to have got there just yet. I'm sure I will. I'm not going to be too mean but I haven't got there yet so that's that's good. Um, I have my scan again tomorrow. So when I went for my last scan I was five weeks, five days. Um, and it was just a little bit early, so they asked me to come back in a couple of weeks. So I'm going back tomorrow, so tomorrow's Friday, um, just to get a better picture of the baby. And they wanted to measure the heart rate of the baby because they they could see it last time. Well, he said he could see it. Maybe he could hear it. I don't know. He could see it or hear it last time. Um, but they couldn't measure it, so they couldn't give me, you know, it was hundred and whatever beats per minute they couldn't give that to me so that's what they want to do tomorrow so I'm booked in for that at oh, um oh my gosh 11 11 o'clock tomorrow um so that's straight after so I do Pilates in the mornings on a Tuesday and a Friday and a Wednesday night but I think I need to drop the Wednesday night because I went last night and I felt really really sick because I'm usually in bed at that time <laughs> um so I've got it straight after my Pilates session tomorrow morning. Because um, I want to keep up with my Pilates. Because before I was pregnant, I was exercising every day. I ate really well. Um, I just felt so good. And now I feel like I can't exercise like I used to be able to because I don't have the energy. I know that it'll come back, but, you know. So I can't exercise like I used to. And my eating is... The complete opposite. So I'm trying to keep on top of Pilates, where it's not too, it's not too strenuous, but I'm still doing some form of exercise, I guess, just to, you know, keep me in the game. Um, yes. So that's what's happening tomorrow. So scans tomorrow, and then um, 
and then we will sort out the uh, the hospital. So my referral has been sent off to the hospital now, which was good. Um, that got sent off last week. I went back to the doctor last week to get my referral for the scan again. Um, so they sent that off. So I think it takes about 20, I think they said 20, 21 days to even um, get the letter from the hospital to say that you can actually go there to have the baby. I don't know, it's a bit different over here. So I'm still, I'm still learning as to the appointments and all of that, excuse me. <coughs> um, so yes, that I think is all I need to update on. Oh, I don't have my measuring tape, but I will show you. And I feel like I've oh, extremely bloated and just pulled my pants up. Oh, I'm tucked in. Ha ha ha. Yeah, so that is seven weeks. Okay. All right, so I will be back for my eight-week update next week.